Portuguese as a Romance language and the sole official language of Portugal, Brazil, Mozambique, Angola, Cape Verde, Guinea-Bissau and São Tomé and Principe. It also has co-official language status in East Timor, Equatorial Guinea, and Macau. As the result of expansion during colonial times, a cultural presence of Portuguese and Portuguese Creole speakers are also found in Goa, Daman and Diu in India, in Batikala on the east coast of Sri Lanka, in the Indonesian island of Flores, and in Malacca in Malaysia. Portuguese is a part of the Ibero Romance group that evolved from several dialects of Volga Latin in the medieval Kingdom of Galicia, with approximately 215 to 220 million native speakers and 260 million total speakers. Portuguese is usually listed as the fifth most natively spoken language in the world, the third most spoken European language in the world in terms of native speakers, and a major language of the Southern Hemisphere. It is also the most spoken language in South America and the second most spoken in Latin America after Spanish, and is an official language of the European Union, Mercosul and the African Union. Spanish author Miguel de Cervantes once called Portuguese the sweet and gracious language, and Spanish playwright Lope de Viga referred to it as sweet, while the Brazilian writer Oliva Bilac poetically described it as a ultima flor do lacio, incultura e bella. Portuguese is also termed the language of Camos, after one of the greatest literary figures in the Portuguese language, Luis Vaz de Camos. In March 2006, the Museum of the Portuguese Language, an interactive museum about the Portuguese language, was founded in Sao Paulo, Brazil, the city with the greatest number of Portuguese language speakers in the world. The museum is the first of its kind in the world. History when the Romans arrived in the Iberian Peninsula in 216 BCE, they brought the Latin language with them, from which all Romance languages descend. The language was spread by arriving Roman soldiers, settlers, and merchants, who built Roman cities mostly near the settlements of previous Celtic or Celtiberian civilizations established long before the Roman arrivals. Between 409 CE and 711 CE, as the Roman Empire collapsed in Western Europe, the Iberian Peninsula was conquered by Germanic peoples. The occupiers, mainly Subi and Visigoths who originally spoke Germanic languages, quickly adopted late Roman culture in the Volga Latin dialects of the peninsula and over the next 300 years totally integrated in the local populations. After the Moorish invasion of 711 CE, Arabic became the administrative and common language in the conquered regions, but most of the remaining Christian population continued to speak a form of Romance commonly known as Mozarabic which lasted three centuries longer. In Spain, Portuguese evolved from the medieval language known today by linguists as Galician Portuguese or Old Portuguese or Old Galician of the northwestern medieval kingdom of Galicia, the first among the Christian kingdoms after the start of the reconquista of the Iberian Peninsula from the Moors. It is in Latin administrative documents of the 9th century that written Galician Portuguese words and phrases are first recorded. This phase is known as Proto-Portuguese, which lasted from the 9th century until the 12th century independence of the county of Portugal from the Kingdom of Leon. By then reigning over Galicia, Portuguese was heavily influenced by more than a millennium of perennial contact with several dialects of both oil and Occitan language groups. In lexicon, phonology and orthography, the influence of Occitan has been most marked through the status Provençal in particular achieved in southwestern Europe around the Troubadour apex, in the Middle Ages, when Galician Portuguese lyric was developed. Aside the direct influence of Provençal literature, the presence of languages from modern-day France in the Galician Portuguese area was also strong due to the rule of the House of Burgundy. 
the establishment of the orders of Cluny and Sister, the many sections of the Way of St. James pilgrimage route that come from elsewhere in Europe out of the Iberian Peninsula, and the settlement in Iberia of people from the other side of the Pyrenees, arriving during and after the Reconquista. In the first part of the Galician Portuguese period, the language was increasingly used for documents and other written forms. For some time, it was the language of preference for lyric poetry in Christian Hispania, much as Occitan was the language of the poetry of the troubadours in France. Portugal became an independent kingdom in 1139, under King Afonso I of Portugal. In 1290, King Denis of Portugal created the first Portuguese university in Lisbon and decreed that Portuguese then simply called the common language, be known as the Portuguese language and used it officially. In the second period of Old Portuguese, in the 15th and 16th centuries, with the Portuguese discoveries, the language was taken to many regions of Africa, Asia and the Americas. By the mid-16th century, Portuguese had become a lingua franca in Asia and Africa, used not only for colonial administration and trade but also for communication between local officials and Europeans of all nationalities. Its spread was helped by mixed marriages between Portuguese and local people, and by its association with Roman Catholic missionary efforts which led to the formation of Creole languages such as that called Christang in many parts of Asia. The language continued to be popular in parts of Asia until the 19th century. Some Portuguese-speaking Christian communities in India, Sri Lanka, Malaysia, and Indonesia preserved their language even after they were isolated from Portugal. The end of the Old Portuguese period was marked by the publication of the Cancionero Geral by Garcia de Resenda in 1516. The early times of modern Portuguese, which spans the period from the 16th century to the present day, were characterized by an increase in the number of learned words borrowed from classical Latin and classical Greek due to the Renaissance, which greatly enriched the lexicon. Geographic distribution Portuguese is the language of the majority of people in Brazil and Portugal, and 99.8% of the population of São Tomé and Príncipe declared speaking Portuguese in the 1991 census. Perhaps 75% of the population of Angola speaks Portuguese natively, and 85% are fluent. Just over 40% of the population of Mozambique are native speakers of Portuguese, and 60% are fluent, according to the 2007 census. Portuguese is also spoken natively by 30% of the population in Guinea-Bissau, and a Portuguese-based Creole is understood by all. No data is available for Cape Verde, but almost all the population is bilingual, and the monolingual population speaks Cape Verdean Creole. There are also significant Portuguese-speaking immigrant communities in many countries including Andorra, Bermuda, Canada, France, Japan, Jersey, Namibia, Paraguay, Macau, Switzerland, Venezuela, and the USA, in some parts of former Portuguese India, namely Goa and Daman and Diu, the language is still spoken by about 10,000 people. In 2014, an estimated 1,500 students were learning Portuguese in Goa. Official status The community of Portuguese language countries consists of the eight independent countries that have Portuguese as an official language. Angola, Brazil, Cape Verde, East Timor, Guinea-Bissau, Mozambique, Portugal and São Tomé and Príncipe. Equatorial Guinea made a formal application for full membership to the CPLP in June 2010 and would be required to add Portuguese as its third official language. As required by the CPLP for membership, the president of Equatorial Guinea, Obiang Nuema Mabasog, and Prime Minister Ignacio Milam Tang approved on 20 July 2011 a new constitutional bill that intends to add Portuguese as an official language of the country. As of 23 July 2012, the bill is still awaiting ratification by the People's Representative Chamber and it shall come into force 20 days after its publication at the Official States Gazette. 
Portuguese is also one of the official languages of the Special Administrative Region of the People's Republic of China of Macau and of several international organizations, including the Mercosur, the Organization of Ibero-American States, the Union of South American Nations, the Organization of American States, the African Union and the European Union. Population of countries and jurisdictions of Portuguese official or co-official language according to the World Factbook Country Population Estimates. For 2013, the population of each of the nine jurisdictions is as follows. This means that the population living in the Lusophone official area is of 261,976,607 inhabitants. This number does not include the Lusophone diaspora, estimated at approximately 10 million people. Although it is hard to obtain official accurate numbers of diasporic Portuguese speakers because a significant portion of these citizens are naturalized citizens born outside of Lusophone territory or are children of immigrants, and may have only a basic command of the language. It is also important to note that a large part of the diaspora is a part of the already counted population of the Portuguese-speaking countries and territories, such as the high number of Brazilian and PALOP emigrant citizens in Portugal or the high number of Portuguese emigrant citizens in the PALOP and Brazil. The Portuguese language therefore serves more than 250 million people daily, who have direct or indirect legal, juridical and social contact with it, varying from the only language used in any contact, to only education, contact with local or international administration, commerce and services or the simple sight of road signs, public information and advertising in Portuguese. Portuguese as a foreign language The mandatory offering of Portuguese language in school curricula is observed in Uruguay and Argentina. Other countries where Portuguese is taught at schools or is being introduced now include Venezuela, Zambia, the Republic of the Congo, Senegal, Namibia, Swaziland, and South Africa. Future According to estimates by UNESCO, Portuguese is the fastest growing European language after English and the language has. According to the newspaper The Portugal News publishing data given from UNESCO, the highest potential for growth as an international language in Southern Africa and South America. The Portuguese-speaking African countries are expected to have a combined population of 83 million, and Brazil 350 million by 2050. In total, the Portuguese-speaking countries will have about 433 million people by the same year. Portuguese is truly a globalized language spoken officially in five continents, and is a second language by millions worldwide. Since 1991, when Brazil signed into the economic community of Mercosul with other South American nations, such as Argentina, Uruguay, Paraguay and Venezuela, Portuguese is either mandatory or taught in the schools of those South American countries. Although early in the 21st century, after Macau was ceded to China and Brazilian immigration to Japan slowed down, the use of Portuguese was in decline in Asia, it is once again becoming a language of opportunity there, mostly because of increased diplomatic and financial ties with Portuguese-speaking countries in China, but also some interest in their cultures, mainly Koreans and Japanese about Brazil. Presently China is doing a great amount of trade with all of the Portuguese-speaking countries, and the Chinese themselves are learning Portuguese. These factors bode very well for the continued growth of Portuguese as an important economic, international language.